Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Remember Me. I'm Count Zero, and we are getting to our combat tutorial. And I think I went too fast for it to run the information. I don't want to fight you. You're gonna have to, Nil, and these guys will kill you. Use your presence. And we get to our combo menu. Okay. I presume we're going to unlock more inputs as the game goes. Like we do, since I've gotten hard enough. That, yeah, we unlock more inputs. So <laughs> this game would be nice if it had a counter button. points. What are they? Leapers. Miserable cast-offs left to rot in the depths of Neo-Paris. Miserable? Monstrous, more like. They are the abandoned children of our Sen Sen age. Simply humans, like you or I, but cast as shadows of our shame. Something we are meant to fear. Another justification for the errorist cause. Who's that? Mm, I don't know if we should follow him, but it appears we are being railroaded. health refill stations, sort of like, uh, sort of like with Half-Life, Half-Life 2. Okay, you need to get out of here. Go find Headache Tommy. I told him you were back in the game. Who? He runs a bar at the top of Slum 404. Start by climbing out of this dump, and I'll give you directions as and when. Oh, who am I to argue with the Rated R Superstar? I don't get a last name. How in hell did public enemy number one escape from the amnesia cathedral? Does anyone recognize Hmm. He's promised to bring down our civilization. One thing is certain. The and those just loop. Actually kind of disappointing. Remember, Maggie told you first. Scandal of Love D. The administration has escape of the Game kind of gives away a lot of information for where you need to be going, but, if, but it is possible to get lost. And there, and you still have to deal with a certain degree of skill, and you generally you can do it. There are points in the game where you have require some skill and timing to traverse the environments, even though they do tell you where to go. Edge, who is this Tommy guy? Tommy was your closest friend, a former memory hunter who's still faithful to our cause. His bar is in a cargo hull over the canal locks in Slum 404. Charming name. Rain. You can't miss it. I do like the level of detail in the environments here. 
debris gives a real sense, real sense of sort of or organicness, organicness. I don't know what the right adjective would be for the debris. So these emis, emnesist, um, data logs are basically world building for the game. Um, each of these logs, which will, I'll show each of them as they come up, you know, they're basically a sort of way of showing, okay, here's what's been going on in the sort of backstory of the universe and what's happened between now, as far as now, us sitting here playing the game, and the start of the game story. So, there's been a massive European Union civil war that's happened. And that, that that's the main thing here, the, the most notable thing. And actually, did, ooh, that's a nice. That, that statue looks familiar. Oh, hey, you're not so Thanks. smelling like roses yourself, buddy. I love that little um, image in the background, or text in the background from the uh, Augmented reality. Food served all day at the Leaky Brain. Today's specials crunchy crab cake a la Tommy and sewer shrimps in slum sauce. Deal with her at some point in the future. Remember, dear brain peoples, it was Olga and her husband David who placed 37 errorists in amnesia cells, winning the Dead or Alive prize for 2082. Good luck, Olga. She'll need it working solo. Rumors of David's illness abound. We hope you recover. Oh, there's that loop done. Good morning. Here's Interesting thing about the whole leapers thing is it is it kind of reminds me of the thing of the fact that parkour. Kind of was born out of the, the I don't want to say Paris slums, uh, the lower income areas of Paris, particularly with minor, large minority populations. Oh, there's another thing worth noting. Noting use these things very difficulty to find, depending on how intuitive the camera angle is and whether or not you as a person will actually be able to get your head somewhere near the camera angle, or just how memorable the landmarks are. Where are all the people? There must be someone up here. Alright, so going up. You want us to go this way? Nope. So we got through this little second, next big tutorial bit, and we have our next big. Hey, that was cheating. Well, we got a new combo type. So, as you see, you can't really customize the combos that much. You are limited in your button types that you have, in terms of 
it's in terms of like you can do basically like square through square, triangle square, triangle square, triangle, or the next combo, which is the six hit combo, is square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle. What you can change, however, is the effects these have, basically. We have increased damage for the top bunch, and we have increased um, and we have healing. We've got a later one involving cooldown, which basically handles cooldown for the various powers in the game. And here's the, here's the thing with the, the, the leapers. Because they leap. Simply they grab on the walls and will attack you from the walls. Later on, we get ways to attack them and knock them off the walls. But still, there's a certain degree of nuisance. Oh, camera, really? Let's let's put not. I think we figure out putting an ob how not to get objects in the way. Also, we have a well, even evade button. We don't have a real counter button. Which is something that really made combat in the Assassin's Creed games more, you know. Plausible. Not quite plausible, but more enjoyable. And in particular, being able to, to counter these guys when they come off the wall would be really nice and make life a little easier. Just be able to go, okay, they come off, I'm not attacking somebody else, to hit them, you'll hit them as they come down. Anyway as, you, anyway, as you can see with the regenerate attacks, we're doing much damage name with the series of strong attacks. So the kind of thing is like learning when to use the healing attacks to regenerate your health, and then when to use strong attacks to put enemies down, and later when to use cooldown attacks to regenerate your powers so you can use them again as needed. So yeah, we have a level up system here. Unfortunately, like doing longer strung together combos um, without interruption doesn't give you more experience points. It, there are other ways to get more experience points. As far, I mean, in terms of, um, I mean, kind of later on, once you get the ability to do combos of six hits or more, you get more experience points that way. But it's not quite the Batman Arkham way of just busting out the big combos. Nah, I don't need healing. We bust, like, you just basically organically bust out big combos. Learn to like this headache, Tommy. Ah, another hidden item. So we can find this one. Over by some sort of crane. Yeah, these things tend to be either tech boosts or health boosts. Five of those, five health boosts, boost your. Health meter by a box. Five tech boosts boost your super gauge by a box, let you pull off two tech moves before. So, five, uh, pull out another more than one super move without having to wait for cooldown or power gauge to replenish. Timing for combos is kind of wonky. You basically have to wait for the icon to appear lit up on the bottom, which means you're also kind of not paying attention to your... to enemies. So, yeah. It's kind of all about the rhythm there. I kind of like, what new do I have that can unlock? Well, we'll see that next time on part three. Till then.